guys welcome back okay so i know this is like a little bit of a different angle for me but it's time for shop my stash and i just wanted to pop in and do a little intro and say hi welcome welcome back if you're an og welcome if you are new my name is kk this is colorful camille and i love all things makeup beauty fashion food <laughs> all that good stuff but anyway, so I'm doing a shop my stash. This is basically going to be, I'm thinking for the month of June. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do them once a month or twice a month yet. It depends on, you know, how frequently I wanna rotate through my stuff. But anyways, so this video is gonna be pretty long because I have a lot of palettes that I've been using since my last shop my stash and I picked a lot of new palettes, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a lengthy one. So to keep this intro short, just wanted to say hi, welcome. I'm just going to dive right in showing you what I have already used, briefly giving you some thoughts on the products that I have used, nothing too in depth. But yeah, I'm excited to shop because I really, really want to get going with some new looks. So anyways, you guys, let's jump right in. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to hit like leave me a comment subscribe if you're not subscribed already turn on your notifications okay check for your girl and let's go okay you guys i think i want to go ahead and start with my palettes today um there's quite a few that i have here in my drawer that i've been using and it's not so much because i have just been wearing so much makeup and just been doing so many looks it's really because i went through a phase of using a lot of different palettes combined together to create looks. <laughs> so I was kind of like mixing and matching and pulling from different palettes and stuff. So I'll just kind of show some of the looks that I created with some of the combinations just to make it easier and to help this video not be too, too long. So um, this first item here I have is not a palette. It's actually a highlighter, and this is from JD Glow, and it's a gorgeous, absolutely beautiful highlighter. This is Cloud Nine, one of their pressed highlighters. I don't even know if they still sell this, but I, you know, it was so absolutely beautiful and gorgeous when I saw it that I had to buy it, not knowing what I was going to do with it because I definitely can't use, well, I guess I could use it on my face, but I wouldn't use it on my face because of the fact that. It's such a loud kind of psychedelic color. You see that? It's so pretty. Let me see if I can, there we go. It's so pretty. So I like to use this like an eyeshadow looks, especially like as in a corner pop. So I actually used this um, highlighter. I combined it with this berries palette from, <laughs> what is this, Beauty Bay? Look at that. This palette is gorgeous. So I combined it with this palette. I also used my Michaela Pot 2 Glam Light palette. And this is what that palette looks like. So, so pretty. And <laughs> I also used this Nabla side by side because this palette is really, really nice. It has some gorgeous you know, like everyday warm neutral type shades in there. Very, very pretty. You can use it for crease colors, for smoking out, deepening up, things like that. But yeah, I used all of these palettes to create this look, this one look. <laughs> and you can probably tell where I use the berries. Definitely you can tell where I use the highlighter in the inner corner. I have the beautiful greens from the Kayla palette and I did use the side by side as you know crease work so yeah i combined all of these colors together to create that one look now for this next look i used these two palettes i have the age of opulence from beauty bay palette that's this one here and then i have the big purr and this one is from icy wifey so the age of opulence palette oh <laughs> If you know, you know, this palette is so freaking gorgeous. It's so pretty. I love this palette. Every time I use it, it's just like, oh my goodness. Love it. And then this Icy Wifey Big Purr palette, another absolutely gorgeous palette. Super bright, beautiful shimmers. It has some dark, warm, deepening shades. 
I really like this palette. It's very unique to me. Really unique color story, and I'm so glad I have it in my collection. But yeah, this is the look I created with these two. Next, I have these two palettes that I actually combined together. So I have this Dawn of Fall palette from It's Bell Cosmetics. And this Dawn of Fall palette is all shimmer. Extremely gorgeous, beautiful, fall-toned <laughs> shimmers in there. Really pretty. And then I combined it with this Norvina. This one is volume six. So let's open her up. And this is what volume six looks like. Super colorful, super pretty, really, really bright. Um, so yeah, I just pulled some of the pink and peachy tones from here and then added, honestly, from the Donna Fall palette, I went in with a really pretty like gold, gold tone shimmer to create that look. So you can see here in the middle how gorgeous that beautiful gold shimmer is. So yeah, I went in with that, combined it with this, and created that look. With this next palette, oh, I fell in love when I saw this palette. When it was teased, <laughs> when it was shown, when it was launched, I knew 100% I was getting this palette. From Clarity Cosmetics, this is the Croc palette. I don't think it's available anymore, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But this is the color story in this palette. Oh my goodness, hopefully you guys are getting a good view of that. <laughs> it's so, so pretty. But yeah, I created this look using this palette all by itself. I think this is one of the palettes, the few palettes that I used to create a look by itself. And um, yeah, absolutely love this palette. Love it to death. Okay, let's talk about this palette here. This Verona palette from <laughs> Nomad Cosmetics. They sent me this palette. They send me all of their palettes right now. I'm currently on their list, their PR list to send palettes to. And I feel oh so blessed to be on that list because their palettes have just been out of this world. <laughs> you know, like their last few palettes have really been amazing. So very thankful to be on their PR list. That's the only brand that I'm on their PR list. And so I'm really appreciative of them. But this is the Verona palette that they came out with. So very cool. And I really like this like book style palette, how it opens and it has this pu really pretty dark, deep kind of grungy side. And then it has the beautiful like love heart, you know, ready pinky side i really like that and so for me <laughs> of course i had to go in combining the two sides together so one of the looks i created with this palette was this beautiful like super bold psychedelic purple looking eye look and it was a trip because it's like how did you get that look out of this palette but it's because i was mixing blues and reds and pinks and stuff together so of course you know they turn purple but yeah i really really love that eye look and then i wanted to kind of you know just focus on this side of the palette and for some reason i really zoned in on this shade here and i just did an all blue smoky eye look using that one shade all i did was put it on my lid and blend it out and I loved it. I really loved how it came out. The shadow was so easily blendable and I just really, really enjoyed creating that look. So one shadow, simple look. Those are the two that I did <laughs> with this Verona palette. Now with this Clarity Cosmetics palette, this was another one when I saw it, I knew I was getting it. I felt like it was a really, really pretty unique color story. I like the packaging, of course, Safari with the print on there. But look at these colors, you guys. <laughs> this color story, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Very unique, very different. I don't even know how I feel when I look at this, but this is the eye look that I created using this palette. And it was a lot of fun. It's not like a typical look that I would do because I'm not really that big into red eyeshadow and mixing it with the green. You know, of course, it gives you that Christmas vibe. But I had a lot of fun. It really kind of made me feel grown and sexy, to be honest with you. When I did that look, 
and paired it with that red lip. I was like, oh, you too grown today, okay? So anyways, had a lot of fun using this palette. Great quality as usual. This is the Safari from Clarity Cosmetics. Now this palette here, the new Romantic, very beautiful Valentine's Day themed palette from Beauty Bay, as you can see. Has some beautiful shimmers in there, gorgeous mattes. And I did use this look to create my Valentine's Day look this year. I went in with the pinky shades and this black shade and did kind of like a smoky, pinked out look. And I put a cute little heart, pink heart in the front of the eye look, you know, just to give it that whole Valentine's Day feel. So that look was really fun. I had a lot of fun using this palette. So yeah, the new Romantic. Now these two palettes here I've spoke about, it <laughs> seems like several times in my last few videos because I've been talking about different, you know, purchases and doing, um, what is it, drugstore looks and stuff. So this Cream Shop palette, this one is the Galactic Nine Shade palette. Mm, yeah, I've already expressed that it's not really a palette that I feel like I will gravitate to in the future. It's cute. It, it really is cute, but I don't know, something about it is just not speaking to me. But I combined this palette along with this LA Girls Pro Jewels palette, which actually is pretty cute. I actually like this. Put that down before I drop it. I actually like this palette um, enough to kind of keep it in rotation in my collection. <laughs> so yeah, I combined those two palettes to create this look here. And I actually really love how that look came out. I was pretty surprised, but it's been so long since I've done a serious cut crease like that, that I forgot how much I love them. So yeah, it just really added a lot of definition and pop to my eyes. But yeah, these two palettes, they worked out pretty nicely together. So I used those. This next palette here is another one from It's Bell Cosmetics. This is the Fruity Realm Matte Press Pigment Palette. They actually sent me this. Like they messaged me and asked me if I wanted to try it or if they could send it to me. I said, sure, of course. <laughs> so they sent this to me. It is an all matte palette. I don't know if they have any other all matte palettes but I know the ones that I have from them are all shimmers. So this is an all matte palette, super colorful. It's not the typical rainbow shades, but very, very bright, colorful, perfect for spring and summer. This is the look that I did using this palette. Had a lot of fun. I really like creating all matte looks. I enjoy those. And so that was what I did with this palette. Now this palette <laughs> I actually used in my easy spring look video. This is from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. This one is the Expression palette and this color story, it just really, you know, took my heart. Once I started feeling that spring vibe, I said, you know what, I really want to do a look with that color story. So that's what I did. So if you did watch that video, you've already seen this look several times. But yeah, I created this look. It was very, very simple. I only used these two shades, I believe. I didn't even go into the shimmers or this dark shade. Very, very easy, simple, matte, what is this, like seafoam blue spring look. So yeah, really enjoyed that. And then lastly, <laughs> this Nomad Royal Europe. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this has got to be, I don't even know if you can see, can you see the texture? That, this is not like a picture or, you know, this is actual texture in the palette. It's actually cutouts in the palette. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. This is like one of the most beautiful palettes that I have ever seen in my life. And when I got this in the mail, when Nomad sent this to me, I about passed out. I was like, that packaging is bomb. And then <laughs> when I actually opened the palette, <laughs> now I freaked out even more. I was like, those are not multi-chromes, multi are they? Are those multi-chromes, duo-chromes, honey? chromy chromes whatever they are, I am in love. This color story, this shimmers, this palette definitely, I would say, is my favorite thus far this year. It's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. 
Oh my goodness, I love it. So anyways, let me move this over here so you can take a look at the eye look that I did using this palette. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to keep this in my shop, my stash right now and keep playing with it because it is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I am absolutely in love with this palette if I haven't said that already. The Nomad Royal Europe. It is so bomb. Okay, you guys, let's move on to some complexion products. Let's go ahead and start over here. This is the moisturizer that I have been using. This is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and it's actually almost gone, like literally one or two more uses at the most in here. And I really need to just finish it up, to be honest with you. I am going to pull another moisturizer. I love this stuff. This stuff is so nice for the spring summer all year round honestly for me because i always need a boost of hydration but and i would actually be purchasing another one of this but i have so many moisturizers i need to get through i'm going to try and get through some more before i purchase another one because that's why i have so much freaking makeup but this i'm going to leave in my drawer because i'm going to just pull another one so when this is done after the next one or two uses, I will already have a new one. Um, this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I just purchased this recently from CVS, trying it out. Ugh, I really want to keep this in my shop, my stash. I love it so much. I really do. It's a trip. Like I said, I honestly thought this was a foundation because, you know, reading is fundamental but i thought it was a foundation and that's how i used it and because i think i used it that way the first time i really love this <laughs> as a foundation just using it with some concealer so uh, am i gonna keep this you guys i don't know right now i think i am going to keep this in my drawer but i am going to pull some more foundation because you know it's not a foundation i also have this pat mcgrath this is very new to my collection. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection. Oh my gosh, this foundation is bomb, okay? I'm like, what took me so long to buy it? But I know what took me so long to buy it, that doggone price tag, okay? And I was just like, I'm not paying it. <laughs> but, you know, I bit the bullet, bought it, and absolutely love this. So if I wasn't itching to try something else, I would keep this in my stash, actually. But we're going to go ahead and put this back and pull something new. Okay, now over here you'll see I have like a whole plethora of lip products. This is like all new lip products that if you watched my monthly beauty buys... I showed all of these lip products in there. So these are all brand new. I put them in here to make sure I get use out of them. I also have some older lip products in here. Well, this is new as well, this CoverGirl and this uh, Milani Max Plumper lip gloss. That's new as well. But everything else is stuff that I've already had in my collection. And I just like keeping it here in the drawer because I'm more likely to use it if it's easily accessible to me. So that's why I have those there. Those are staying in rotation. I'm not moving them. Over here, I have like all of my eyeliners, gel liners, mascaras. I currently have one, two, three, four, four, is it four or five? You, child, uh-uh. Listen, five, six, six. I currently have six mascaras open in my freaking drawer to use. So no, I'm not pulling <laughs> any new mascara. As a matter of fact, when I use these, as I use them, if I don't like them, I'm throwing it, I'm tossing it. I'm getting rid of them because I just keep opening new mascaras to try and it's, it's gotten out of hand. Okay, this Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. I really like this. Got this from CVS to try it out. Really like it. Honestly, like I said in my um, other video, makeup stayed on all day, was not sweaty, didn't move. This stuff was pretty good, okay? I'm tempted to leave it <laughs> in this drawer. Actually, I think I am gonna leave that in the drawer and I'm going to take 
this milk makeup out um i'll use this again in the future i only use this like once or twice this is the poor eclipse i really don't have any extreme opinions about it right now it worked fine enough i guess but i'm gonna go ahead and replace this i'm gonna grab another setting spray today now for concealers these two concealers always stay in here my essence camouflage this one i always use under my eyes and around my mouth to conceal so that never comes out and my juvia's place always stays in because this is my emergency concealer if i use a concealer try something new and it doesn't work out i don't like it i need to fix it my Juvia's Place always comes to the rescue, and so <laughs> I always keep that close by. That does not come out. So the concealers that I have used uh, as of late have been this ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Really like this. This stuff is really good. No complaints, but it is going back. And then the Black Radiance. This, um, what is it? Longwear Concealer. This one I actually really like a lot as well very very nice concealer a lot of coverage blended out nicely it wasn't drying or anything like that honestly ugh, i would keep it but i want to try something else you know i want to stay excited with using my makeup and doing my makeup i don't want to get bored so i am going to put this back into my collection and pull something else today for primers now this is my eyeshadow primer this is my p louise base i always use this haven't really been switching out my eyeshadow primer for <laughs> years, quite honestly. And I do have quite a few eyeshadow primers that I need to start using, but for some reason I don't wanna switch it, so that just stays just like these two concealers stay. But this Milk Primer, this is new to my collection. This is one that they just came out with. This is what, the Poreless, Poreless Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So yeah very nice um i don't have any strong feelings about it one way or another quite honestly it didn't really leave an impression on me um that's what it looks like i can definitely tell um just by the way it feels that you know it's like creating a mattified look on your face um i wouldn't really say it's you know poor feeling or anything like that it is nice and smooth though but I'm gonna go ahead, put this back because I wanna pull something else. This primer here, Makeup Forever um, Hydra Booster. This is their step one primer. They actually sent this to me. This was another brand that was like, can we send you something? So they sent me this along with some of their powders and foundation. I had already had their foundation. Really, really love it. So um, I tried this out. This is nice. It does make my skin full ni feel nicely hydrated when I use it prior to the foundation. And the powders I actually really like as well. So you'll see those later in the video because I have been using those. But I'm going to go ahead and pull something else. So I'm putting this one back. And this, uh, I got a lot of milk stuff. <laughs> this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I had this like earlier in the month and last month actually i've been using this for a couple of months and so i just kind of got sick of it now you know and that's why i had the other primers that i was using i'm gonna go ahead and put this back i actually just bought the elf one like this that i might be trying today not sure but this is a really good primer if you like you know a gripping type of primer it does add a little bit of hydration but it's more so very sticky and kind of you know helps your foundation to grip on to your face okay so for this next drawer here this basically has the rest of my complexion products let's run through um these blushes in the back right quick so this cream shop blush this is one that i picked up during my drugstore run i've already spoken about this several times it's a cream blush balm in the shade love struck i really like it <laughs> i love this color i love the you know consistency of it i like how it looked on my face nice and glowy so yeah i really like this blush but I'm gonna be trying some new blushes, so I'm gonna put that back. This CoverGirl blush, this is a true blend in the shade Hot Frenzy. Very, very pretty color. I love this for spring and summer. You can kind of see why, okay, very fiery. It looks gorgeous. 
gorgeous on my skin tone. So I really like this. That's going back. This one is one of my all-time favorites from Milani. This is like an OG blush. This is a rose powder blush in spiced rose. Okay, listen. If you haven't tried this, <laughs> what are you waiting on? <laughs> but yeah, this is beautiful. Love this. Every time I put it on, it just makes me smile. <laughs> and then I put even more on my cheeks because I'm smiling. But yeah, love this blush. So pretty. We'll never get rid of it. This blush right here is one of Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, you know, it's a stick blush. What shade is this? Royal Flush. In this color, y'all, this color, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, she pretty. Look at that. Look at that color. Ciao. Uh-uh. You can't tell me nothing when I have that on my cheeks. It's beautiful. Love it, but it's getting switched out. And then lastly for blush, I have this NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is another really pretty kind of springy um, summer type color. It's one of the ones that you, you know, kind of use with the little wand. And it's, it, it is orange, okay? So if you don't like orange blush, then, you know, you don't, you don't want to play with this because this is, it's the exact same color as the packaging, okay? Beautiful, but it's time for a change. Okay, let me wipe this blush off my hand. Okay, let's move into these highlighters in the back. This one is the Kiss Glow in Bronze Powder. It's actually a Glow in Bronze Powder, but for me, it is a highlighter. If you've been around here any amount of time, you know this is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, it is so silky smooth. I got this from the, um, what is it, the Beauty Supply? And it's like, man, this was a find for me. So I have the shade Medium. And it's just, oh, I love that. It's a beautiful highlighter, okay? Just don't have any words for it. It's gorgeous. This Give Me Glow Sunset Glow. This one, yeah, it's called Sunset Glow. Hello, it's right there on the front. But this one is absolutely beautiful as well. As you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that is what that one looks like. So these are both some serious highlighters, okay? Don't pull these out unless you're ready to play, okay? That one's going back as well. Okay, next for powders, I have this Juvia's Place Press Powder in Burkina. And this I really use to set under my eyes because it is um, too light for the rest of my face. And I like it. It looks really, really nice under my eyes. It's just a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, and it sets very nicely. Next, I have my absolute favorite powder in the whole wide world for the rest of my life. This is the KVD. <laughs> this is actually a foundation powder. So this is the Locket foundation powder and I, I use deep 200 and you guys listen I know you know you know if they if they run out of this and stop making it I will literally just pass out okay it's my absolute favorite you know what it's staying in my drawer <laughs> that just like my Juvia's concealer stays that KVD stays because that is my rescue powder. If I use a powder and I don't like it, it doesn't work out, that will fix it. I've been using this collab. This is a loose setting powder. What shade is this? Almond Caramel. I don't even know, does collab still exist? I haven't been to Sally Beauty Supply to buy makeup in I don't know how long. And that's where I purchased this from, this collab powder. And it's a really nice powder. I've had it for a very long time. It's a nice shade for under the eyes. I really prefer more of the almond caramelly uh, toned shades. I don't really like banana powder. I have some that I try occasionally to see if I've ever changed my mind, but I always like the almond caramel shades for my skin tone. The banana powders just look yellow. <laughs> they don't look right on me. So this one I actually really, really love, but it's going back. Now, like I said before, I got some of the Makeup Forever loose setting powders. They sent me this lighter shade, which is three. Yeah, three. And then they also sent me the darker shade in five. 
So I can use this for under my eyes and I can use this for the rest of my face. And I really like these powders. They're very fine and light. They're not heavy. They set my face nicely. So yeah, I'm really, really glad and thankful that they actually sent these to me because they work out nicely, okay? I hate when somebody sends me something and I don't like it and I have to declutter it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I really appreciate getting those. Now over here in this side of my bin, I have these two in here. I have these in here because I really want to force myself to use them. I've spoken about this Danessa Myricks uh, bronzer. This is a cream bronzer. What shade is this? Y'all, I don't know. Okay, I don't have my glasses on. Hopefully you can read that. Deep, it looks like. But I paid good money for this. And I'm really upset that every single time I try to use it, it's like, it's so aggressive. Like, just the smallest amount is so aggressive. And it's just like... <sighs> I really want to love this. I really want to love it because like I said, I paid good money for it. It's just so aggressive and I really don't go that hard when it comes to contouring and bronzing and stuff, you know? So I keep it in here because I'm going to force myself to use it and learn to love it, okay? <laughs> I am. Now this Uma Beauty Stick, this is three, double take. And it's a double-sided stick, which has, you know, contour on one side. And same thing. It's really aggressive. <laughs> really aggressive. And then it has the highlighter on the other side, which is pretty cool, you know. Pretty cool. So it's a two-on-one situation. But I'm just not necessarily a cream, bronzer, and highlight type chick. But I, I want to be. So that's why... I'm leaving these products in here because I'm going to force myself to use them, okay? So this powder I bought when I um, was trying out different drugstore stuff. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. I got the shade 360. It was a little too deep for me, so I decided to use it as a bronzer, and it works beautifully as a bronzer. So that's what I'm going to be using that for. That's going to go... In my bronzer drawer and then I also have this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Powder and I think this also is just a face powder so I have the shade 375 it looks like and this one I actually intentionally chose for a bronzer it is beautiful it's you know that's what I really love about different powders you know if you happen to pick up the wrong shade you might be able to repurpose it if it's too light or too dark or if you're looking for, you really like the formula of a certain brand, like if you really love this as a setting powder, try out a darker shade as a bronzer because you might really like that as well. So that's what I use this for as a bronzer. So that's it for this drawer. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a little container that I have some loose setting powder in. The powder that's in here right now is some of my prime Prime Beauty Powder, <laughs> another one of my favorites. And this is just a little puff that came with my Makeup Forever powders. And I just kind of leave this in my drawer, you know, if I ever decide to use that. Once I use that up, then I'll start putting a different powder in there. So that's what that is. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start shopping my stash. I want to start out with highlighter. I'm not going to um, even look in this drawer. This drawer here is like, you know, like all of my singles. Not all of them, but a lot of my singles. And I don't want anything out of that drawer. I already know. <laughs> so I want to start in this drawer. Um, how many highlighters am I picking? I'm not sure how many highlighters I'm picking today, you guys, but I do know that this brand new NYX Born to Glow, well, it's new to my collection. Uh, I do want to try this. I really do. I'm so curious about this. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this because I'm definitely curious about that. Um, I also got this Sephora Liquid um highlighter this is a liquid illuminate illuminator and this is new to my collection as well hmm do i want to try both of these why not let's go ahead and try both of these um with them even though they're new 
I really, really want to try them. Uh, I have not used my Apple in a long time. <laughs> this was one my iHeart Revolution Tasty Apple. I was kind of going through my drawers the other day and I was like, dang, I haven't used that. Gosh, maybe in like a year. It has been a long time since I've used this. So I'm thinking this one might get pulled. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. I'm thinking there's one more um, situation that I really want to pull, okay? This here, you guys are a little close. This here is like one of the trios from Adept Cosmetics, but I bought all of their trios that they came out with, with the highlighter, bronzer, and blush in them. And I took them all out and rearranged them so that they would fit my skin tone. So even though, you know, it says that it's this one, these all, you know, are just highlighters because I wanted just an all highlighter palette that I could work with and play with. And I put like all the blushes in one palette. So mines are not the exact way that they were sold, <laughs> but I put them in a way that will work for me. So yeah, this is from Adept Cosmetics. If you're curious and let me go ahead and just swatch these right quick so you guys can kind of see what I mean um, as far as me, you know, just kind of putting together all the highlighters to create my own palette. So these are the ones that are in this palette. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Of course, I'm gonna gravitate to this one, but even the lighter ones are beautiful as well. So I'm gonna pull this and I think that will be, y'all see what time it is? It's 2.07. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this and I think that will be enough highlighters for this Shop My Stash, I think. Should I pull one more? How many highlighters do I need? Uh, what are these? These are XX Revolution. That's pretty, but I don't want that. That's kind of light. This one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, she pretty. She pretty. Let's check her out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's pretty too. Ah, but I'm, it's like all the ones that I'm pulling are like all the same. They're all like goldy tones, you know? Mmm. I haven't used this one in a while. This Huda Beauty, this one is quite the gorgeous highlighter. Do you see that? That is absolutely beautiful, okay? And this one, let me see. Yeah, that one has that beautiful pinky rosy tone. Ooh, that would look gorgeous for this springy time of year. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. That's gorgeous. Okay, you guys, my bronzer drawers are a little bit lower, so I'm sorry it's a little bit farther away, but I will bring the products up to you. This one size is my newest bronzer to my collection, so I'm very tempted to try this out. <laughs> I showed this in my monthly Beauty Buys video. Very, very pretty, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Um, I don't need to try that right now. I have some other bronzers that I haven't used for a very long time. These are from Minted. They're like these uh, bronzer duos from them, and I got season one and season two. So let me take a look at these right quick because I really want to use some products that I haven't used in a while. So this one here is season one, which is the one that's not quite as dark. So that's season one. And then I have season two. Season two is a little bit darker, as you can see. Has a bit of a richer tone to it. I'm tempted to pull both of these and just play with these. Hmm. Let me see how dark this is because this might be too dark. No, that's nice actually. Yeah, that's actually quite nice for a bronzer. Hmm, my Gucci bronzer, this one is always really nice. Yeah, this one is beautiful. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Gucci 
and then I will pull this minted bronzer in season two. I think that'll work out nicely for this shop, my stash. Okay, you guys, I'm over here in one of my blush drawers and I am probably gonna pick way more blush than I need to pick, okay? <laughs> so I have these new blushes that I got from L'Oreal, the Infallible 24 Hour Blush. And this one is in Fearless Coral. So this one is really pretty. Um, absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. I think I will pull this one because I love a coral blush this time of year. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few. I have this Milani blush that's kind of a corally shade. I have this ColourPop. What is this? Forever Yours. That color is really pretty as well. Um, I got all of these cute little blushes. They're so kitty looking, <laughs> but the colors inside, listen, this one here is Aloha Honey. Look at that. That is beautiful. This one here is Island Shine. Hello. This is like one of my absolute favorite types of shades. I might pull that one actually. This one from the Powder Puff is Saving the World. Another beautiful coral, coral type shade. This one, another Powder Puff Fighting Crime. Look at that. Ah! gorgeous and then this one from it's a small world after all this one is dancing darlings i had to get this because it's that really deep beautiful bricky red so pretty but yeah it's like they look so kitty <laughs> but they're so pretty so i don't know this one that one is kind of similar to the l'oreal so i won't pull that one this one here from Amuse Cosmetics, I've had this for a long time. This one is in Perfect Bliss. Listen, this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous on the cheeks. It's so pretty. I'm gonna pull this, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna pull it. Um, Let me see here. Ooh, the new blushes that I got from Juvia's. <gasps> This one intrigues me because it has like that brownie, kind of orangey brownie type tone to it. So I am really curious as far as how this is going to look on me. I'm like, is this going to look like a bronzer or something on me, you know? But I guess it has like that kind of like terracotta type feel to it, but it's still a very interesting shade for me. What is that? Can y'all read this? Cause honey, what is that? Some kind of poppy, <laughs> perky poppy or something. But, oh, that's pretty though. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this. I gotta see how this looks with a full face of makeup. Cause that, that's really pretty. So we're gonna pull that. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Mm. Oh, these are those other trios that I told you that I kind of, you know, moved around the shades and stuff to fit my own needs. So I have these three shades in here and, oh, you know, they're kind of like shimmery, you know, shimmery type situations. So it's like, that's what that would look like if you can see that. Oh, that's pretty. But yeah, I don't want a shimmery blush right now per se um hmm. i have this danessa myricks that i haven't used yet this is dancing queen and this looks absolutely stunning beautiful cream blush Woo! dang that looks pretty you know what I'm going to swatch it for y'all. And her stuff is so pigmented. I don't know what I was thinking going in like that. But, oh, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm pulling that. <laughs> okay, I already have four blushes, you guys. We're going to do one more. Because y'all know, listen... 
I love a good blush, okay? These are like Patrick Ta blushes. Let me see what I got in here. That's pretty, but that's like similar to something that I already pulled, I think. Kind of, not really, sort of. That's pretty as well. It's kind of corally. Mm. <sighs> I'm trying to pull somebody that I really don't be pulling. This is new too. This is from um, Minted. This is top shelf. I got this from Target. Chow. I think this one might be kind of close to the Danessa Myricks with just like a little shimmer in there. And it is, it's a little lighter, but it has that shimmer to it. That's, ugh. If I was in the mood for shimmers, I would definitely pull that. Let me see what else I have. Nope, I'll be pulling that all the time. No, I don't want that. Juvia's. Do I want a Juvia's? This is volume one. Oh, that's pretty. That's two different shades in there. It has kind of like that orangey shade, but not so bright. And then it's like, I don't want too many that have like this same tone to it. You see how that has the same tone as like the ones I'm already pulling? If my camera will focus. Yeah, and I don't want to pull that uh i have some more creams back here i don't know i guess what i'm looking for is like a bright pink like a bright pink i guess this one is bella nope that's that corally shade starting to feel like i have a type you guys i think i have a type <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, one shade that I got from Sydney Grace. They sent it to me free uh, with an order that I placed years ago. And so I just put it in this one little palette by itself. Oh, that's kind of bright. Yeah, it has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. But that is a really, really pretty color. Okay, we're going to pull that. I think that will round out our blushes for the day. Good job, good job. Okay, you guys, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on powders because powders are not necessarily fun for me to choose. They're actually quite stressful. So <laughs> um, I just went ahead and grabbed my Fit Me powder. This is the pressed powder in 355 Coconut. I actually just picked this up because I've never tried it before the pressed. I always use the loose and I really like it. So I'm going to pull this. I also pulled this new um, powder that I got from the lip bar. I picked this up from Target and I have the shade Bronze Beauty. So I really wanna try this out and see how this works for me from the lip bar. Very curious. So we're gonna try that. And then for loose powder to set under my eyes, I typically like loose powder more than um, pressed powder for under my eyes, but I can use either one. I got this Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Powder. And so this shade here, which is Almond. So this shade Almond, I'm going to go ahead and use this to set under my eyes. Now I'm already over here <laughs> next to my foundation tower. Um, you guys can only see the lower tower, which is like the drugstore. But if I kind of raise it up like this, you can see I have my higher end up at the top as well. But I'm just going to <laughs> grab one from each, each section. So for the lower section, I am going to grab a brand new foundation because I do want to try this out. Never tried it. Just purchased it. This is the CoverGirl Outlast. And so, I don't know what my camera is focusing on, but it ain't what's in front of it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try this. I have the shade 872, which is Warm Tawny. So, I'm really curious to see how this will work for me. So, I'm try it out and let y'all know. Um, uh, Do I want another drugstore foundation or do I want to grab a high-end? I kind of want to grab a high-end foundation uh as well so i think let me just put y'all like this <laughs> if it's wobbly i'm sorry it's because i'm holding it um you know what i kind of wanna this mario foundation is really good <laughs> i really like this i kind of want to pull that again but i'm not 
sure gucci i haven't used this gucci in a very long time can y'all see that yeah i haven't used this one in a long time so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull it and kind of see how i feel about it seems like i remember liking it so let's go ahead and pull the mario and the gucci why not let's do it okay i had to pull you guys back a little bit i wanted to show you this um it's faux this is like a lash kit that I got from ColourPop. I've had it forever. I actually had a couple of them, but I haven't used these in a long time. This is a brand new one. And I wanna go ahead and use these with my eye looks. So it's really cute. It just kind of pulls out like this. And it has all these different styles of lashes. I don't know if they still sell this. If they do, whenever it's on sale, it's a really good buy. So yeah, eight pairs of lashes in here. So I'm just going to focus on this for this Shop My Stash. Okay, you guys. So real quick, let's go ahead and pick out a moisturizer. I almost forgot that I needed a new one um, since I'm almost out of the e.l.f. Uh, Mm, I really kind of just want to pick one. I don't feel like really putting too much thought in it, <laughs> to be honest with you. You know what I haven't used in forever? I haven't used this Tarte Baba Balm moisturizer. This I have not used in forever. So that was an easy pick because, yeah, that has not been used in a couple of lifetimes. Okay, so primer. Listen, I know my primer drawer looks crazy, but I actually decluttered and organized it. So <laughs> yeah, but um, hmm, definitely want to try this e.l.f. because um, I want to see how it compares to the Milk Gripping Primer. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one and see how it compares. So we'll go ahead and put that up there. And I want one more. This one right here, the Strawberry Whip. I always want to pull this because this is like, oh, this is my favorite. I love this stuff. But I'm not going to pull it because I'm always pulling it. Um, I want something that's going to be kind of mattifying, honestly. I have this Becca. This one here is the Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Maybe I should use this. I've had this for a long time, child. I don't even know if this is any good. Okay, so I just opened it up and put some on my hand. Yeah, no, it's still working. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull this. Um, did I keep a primer? I didn't. <laughs> Let me go ahead and pull this. So, that is what? Two primers? Do I want to pull one more just in case? Mm -mm 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 how many primers does one person need, right? The Fenty Beauty, shoot, I haven't used this in forever either. Man, do people, are people still using this? I haven't used this. Yeah, let me pull this. I'm gonna pull this. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Okay, so let's pull that. Oops. And we have our three primers and our moisturizer. So we are good to go. Let's move on to palettes, you guys. Okay, you guys, I know I am really rusty because I almost forgot concealer. <laughs> like, how can you forget concealer, okay? I got these new concealers from Kiss. So, of course, I want to try one of these. I'll try the darker one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try the darker one. And then... um. Gosh, it seems like, have I used these Jacqueline concealers recently? I don't know, but I'm gonna pull this one as well. What shade is this? Tan Deep Golden. So yeah, I'm gonna try this Jacqueline concealer. I got this, you know, when Morphe was having their going out of business sale and I had no idea they were going out of business. Me and my girl DJ was just like, why is this stuff so cheap? Well, now we know they was closing their store. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to try those two. And you know what? I want to pull the OG. I have not used LA Girl Pro Conceal in years, probably. And this used to be the OG concealer, like, yo. And I just stopped using it because I tried so many other concealers. So, I'm going to pull this. I'm going to see how I feel about this. If I still like it. 
Okay, now, so I need to pick another setting spray because I just kept that one um, Black Radiance setting spray. My Morphe is always a favorite. <clears throat> I've been using my um, Charlotte Tilbury quite a bit, so I'm going to chill on that. I haven't used my MAC Fix Plus in a long time, so this one is a front runner. This Fenty Beauty... Gosh, what is this called? What it do? Hmm. What it do? So I guess that's going to make me look dewy. Okay, so how about we pick these two? We'll do the Fenty Beauty for a dewy look, and then we'll do the MAC Fix Plus, because we know that works really well. <laughs> so I'm going to grab these two. Okay, you guys, so I have all of my new products put away. I'm so excited and ready to use them. They're all nicely nestled where they're supposed to be. So now we can go ahead and move on to palettes. Okay, you guys, I'm going to run through these palettes right quick because this video is long enough as it is. So this first palette I have here from Black Opal, this is the True Melanin palette. Just picked this up from Walmart and absolutely fell in love with it. So I grabbed this for, you know, kind of neutral shades. Very pretty. I also grabbed this one. This is a Sweet Tart Cravings Sugar Rush Palette from Tarte. Look at that packaging. It's so cute. But this palette, look at those shades. So, so gorgeous. So, so beautiful. I cannot wait to use this and tell you guys how I like it. Another palette that I just picked up from Walmart. This is the Profusion Euphoria Palette. Color Story gorgeous of course you guys know i like the blues and the purples i really like this aspect of gray in here as well so pull that i was feeling a little pink <laughs> and wanted to kind of play in my color pop shadows so this is called pink drink from color pop really pretty pink color story look at that so pretty and i don't often do pink eye looks so i'm like pink nails pink eyeshadow okay now this orange sorbet sweet shop from bh cosmetics i've been kind of feeling like i want to do an orange look or something with orange in it so i picked this palette because it's very very orange delicious next i have two small palettes that i want to play with this is the makeup Playing in Makeup by Yolando. This one is called Royalty. One of her little five pan palettes that really struck me when I looked at it. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a lot of light on over here, so it's not really showing off the shimmers like it should. This is the Cranberry palette from Natasha Denona. I've been saying I wanted to use this forever and haven't used it, so I feel like this will make a pretty eye look. Now, I did go ahead and grab a couple of my Sigma palettes. This one is the Cinderella palette. And this is the color story in here. Y'all, I was sitting watching crime shows and swatching palettes last night. And when I swatched this, I was like, oh yeah, you going in the shop, my stash. I have got to play with you. Also, this Alice in Wonderland from Sigma. Another really, really pretty color story. So this one's a little bit lighter and brighter for the springtime. Swatching this as well. Really, really pretty. Next, now this palette, I got to swatching and playing with this one last night when I was doing uh, watching crime shows and just kind of fiddling around in here. This is the Blooming Lovely palette from Sample Beauty. Mm -mm. The color story is amazing. But when I tell you, it's like, it's, it's just, it's not doing it justice because I don't have any light on and I don't really know that the light will help. But the shimmers in this palette, oh, so gorgeous. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. But the mattes as well. These two down here, oh my God, I'm not going to start swatching because then it's going to get crazy. But this palette, absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to play with it. I pulled the Tati Beauty <laughs> when I was doing my dupe in the vibes 
video for that new palette that Dose of Colors is coming out with, the She's a 10 palette, or She's a Dime collab. And I was looking at my Tati palette and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to bring her out to play. So I grabbed her. This Ace Beauté Ambiance. This palette, the color story, yo. I know it says fall and it's not fall time right now, but listen, these colors were just calling to me. So I went ahead and pulled it. Now, just because I pull all these palettes does not necessarily mean I'm going to use them all, of course. But these are the options that I'm giving myself, you know, for this shop, my stash. The Nomad, um, what is it? The Monte Verde. I can never pronounce the long name, but this is the Monte Verde palette from Nomad. Look at the packaging. Absolutely gorgeous. And the color story. Even more beautiful. Okay, so I pulled this because I wanted... Not like, it's not like I didn't have enough colorful options from that Blooming palette, but this one, really pretty. And I love Nomad and their palettes. This Laura Lee Whimsical Nudes, I bought this a little while ago because I fell in love with that hint of green in there. And it's, you know what, I really, really need to have some light on in here because these shimmers... Honey, they should be shimming, and they're not shimming because my light is not making them shim. But you can see them a little bit. There you go. You see that? Do you see that? I feel like I need to go through all the rest of these palettes again so you can see the shim shim. But anyway, <laughs> look at how that's shimming, okay? So I pulled that. Now the Pat McGrath. Which one did I pick? This one is, I think this is the Mothership 2, the one with the green. Yeah, I think this is the Mothership 2 Sublime. So that's what that looks like if you're familiar with this palette, and I'm sure you are. Of course, the lighting doesn't do it justice, but it does help you to see the colors a little better. I pulled this uh, Mitchell, M -m 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 Mitchell palette. Which one is this? Made by Mitchell, Head in the Clouds. I've had this forever and have not used it but i decided to go ahead and bring this one out to play now i got all these palettes in my way but you can see the shimmers in there a little bit in the light this one's really pretty this one's pretty this one's pretty in this one but i like these matte shades as well i think what drew me into this palette is this shade up here um this shade right here and this shade down here. It's like a really, really dark, deep, dark purple. Very deep, dark purple. So, yeah, there's some pretty shades in here to play with. I pulled this Berry Icy. This is one of my newer palettes to my collection. I'm just dying to play with these colors. And this color story is so pretty. So, I pulled that. And then lastly, I pulled an oldie but goodie. And this is a really big oldie but goodie. This is the Dare to Create from Morphe. When this first came out, the 39A, this used to be my absolute favorite palette. <laughs> and that was what, like five, six years ago? So you know this palette is old. So part of me wants to play with it just to see if the formula is still any good, you know? Because... It looks fine, but, you know, I want to play with it. So I pulled this. And that is it, you guys. That's quite enough, okay? For palettes, it's quite enough. So that is it for my Shop My Stash for the month of, well, this is for the month of June, actually, even though I'm shopping in late May. This is for the month of June. So I'm really excited to use this stuff. I got some fun stuff to play with. I can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys on each and every item and each and every palette that I use. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, you guys. I will see you on the next video. Toodles!